الله حمدا كثيرا طيبا مباركا فيه قال الله تعالى في كتابه الكريم بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سبحانك لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت العلم الحكيم رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحن الأقدة من لساني يفقه قولي صدق الله العظيم On our viewers, brothers and sisters in Islam, brothers and sisters in humanity, to all our seekers of knowledge, seekers after the truth, and also to our YouTube and Facebook viewers, I greet you all with the greetings of peace and love. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May the peace, guidance, mercy of God Almighty be with each and every one of you. Alhamdulillah, welcome to Let's Talk Islam with Imam Muhammad, bringing the light of Islam to each and every one of you. We hope and pray that you are joining us this evening in the best of health and faith by the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our program this evening, believing viewers, brothers and sisters, is dedicated to the beloved parents of our dear and beloved brother, uh, Sheikh Safar's Bakas, the Imam for Masjid al-Abadin in Queens, New York, his beloved parents, the late Yusuf Bakas, and also Bibi Rabina Bakas, insha'Allah ta'ala. Let us commence our program with our opening Quranic recitation to uh, start our program off, turn, turning our attention to the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Qur'an, whatever um, voices is be, are being received by Allah, uh, recited inshallah ta'ala, then let us be quiet, let us listen attentively, so that we may receive some mercy and some blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Here is our opening Qur'anic recitation. والسماء ذات البروج واليوم الموعود وشاهد ومشهود قتل أصحاب الأخدود أن ذات الوقود إذ هم عليها قعود وهم على ما يفعلون بالمؤمنين شهود وما نقموا منهم إلا العزيز الحميد الذي له ملك السماوات والأرض والله على كل شيء شهيد إن الذين فتنوا المؤمنين والمؤمنات ثم لم يتوبوا فلهم عذاب جهنم ولهم عذاب الحريق إن الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات لهم جنات تجري من تحتها الأنهار ذلك الفوز الكبير إن بطش ربك لشديد إنه هو يبدئ ويعيد وهو الغفور الودود ذو العرش المجيد فعال لما يريد هل أتاك حديث الجنود فرعون وثمود بل الذين كفروا في تكذيب والله من وراء بل هو قرآن مجيد في لوح محفوظ Welcome back to our program, Believe in Viva. 
course, brothers and sisters, that was our opening Quranic recitation to start our program off. Alhamdulillah, whatever blessings would have earned from that recitation, we beg and pray that it will be showered upon each and every one of you. All our brothers and sisters who may be affected with any difficulty, um, hardship in life, we beg and pray that the blessings earned will be showered upon you by the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our program this evening, Let's Talk Islam with Imran Muhammad, is coming your way with the kind compliments and the courtesy of NNS, al Wuz Customs Broker Service, V&P Supermarket, Wolf Furniture Store, DNR Trading, um, Dollar Empire Incorporated, The Unlocking Genius, in memory of my dear and beloved parents, the late Nazar Muhammad and Bibi Akil Muhammad, and also the parents of our dear and beloved brother, Sheikh Safran's Bakas, um, uh, Yusuf Bakas, and also Rabina Bakas. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless them, bless them uh, and grant them Jannah, inshallah ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all these other brothers and sisters for taking the initiative to invest in this educational program, alhamdulillah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless them, bless their business, bless their earnings also, and let this initiative be a means for them to enter into the Jannah and the paradise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Stay tuned for more of Let's Talk Islam. Our reminder of the day is next. O you who believe, abstain, stay away from bad suspicion or negative assumption. When we assume something negative, a brother is walking past and we say, you know what? This guy is reading Salah without wudu. For what? It's such a dirty thought. It shows that you perhaps might be doing that. May Allah protect us. You know, a sister is walking in the middle of the night and you say, eh, she's got bad intentions. Why? She could have just gone through some heavy ordeal that you don't even know about. May Allah protect us, brothers and sisters. May Allah protect us all. Have a good assumption, really. Do not have negative thoughts because a lot of the times it displays the negativity in your own mind. You know, they say a dirty mind thinks dirty. So even when someone is speaking very clean, you know, they have a little cloud that pops up above their heads and their thoughts are all within that cloud and they're bad thoughts. Why? Because a dirty mind thinks very dirty. This is why Allah is telling us do not have negative suspicion. You rather have positive suspicion. Like we see sometimes people sitting on their mobile phones and you come into the masjid say, Hey, this guy here is on his mobile phone in the masjid, but he's reading Quran. You may not know. Relax. And then sometimes you have a person with a Quran sitting with his Quran wide open. And in there he's got a mobile phone with games, playing games. So you might not know what's going on. Still, the one with the Quran open, it's between him and Allah. You must think he's reading Quran. The one with the mobile phone continue thinking that he's doing something that is beneficial for him. Why do we need to think negative? This is what is drawing us away from our own peace and contentment because you think negative of others. Believe me, they begin to think negative of you. So what happens? The whole world becomes a negative place. We need to be positive. We need to be people who think good about one another so that tomorrow we will also be thought good of. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open our doors. Welcome back to our program. We live in here as brothers and sisters. That was our reminder of the day. Alhamdulillah. And remember, we always ask on our program, whatever information is given to us, all these reminders, these encouragements, let us try to share them with your friends and family. Those who are present, you're looking at our program, you're viewing our program, then share them with those who are absent by the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For all your Islamic clothing, believe in viewers, brothers and sisters, accessories, um, sweet scented itir and atar, for example, um, jubas for example and other accessories and so forth and so on then you can check out Noor Islamic um, Noor Islamic Wear they are located at the ground floor Fawati's building right here in Georgetown for more information you can um, contact 685-9205 that is 685-9205 Noor Islamic Wear for all your Islamic accessories by the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you can subscribe to our channel on YouTube you can like our page on Facebook as well. We have a WhatsApp group that you can be a part and parcel of, inshallah, so that you can be able to get your various reminders with regards to moon sighting, with regards to halal and haram, inshallah, on all other matters of deen by the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Feel, feel free to subscribe to that WhatsApp group um, through telephone numbers 622-6842. That is 622-6842. And be a part of that group, inshallah, to receive your various Islamic reminders by the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let's take some moment now, believing brothers and sisters, to go to our hadith of the day. And when we come back, we'll have our feature presentation right here on our program, Let's Talk Islam with Imam Muhammad. Yeah, mm -hmm. 
Gönüllerde hasretin var Yürekler aşkınla çarpar Sensiz dünya bizlere dar Selam sana ey kutlu yar With a mission, faith and patience You convey the noble message Brought the light through your guidance Peace be upon you, my beloved Ya Habibi, Ya Muhammad Ya Nabi, Salam Alayka Ya Rasul, Salam Alayka Ya Habib, Salam Alayka Welcome back, Billy Confuers, brothers and sisters, to our program. That was our hadith segment, insha'Allah ta'ala. Um, that was a beautiful advice from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, subhanAllah. Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to bless you and die with various favors, various blessings. We have completed the month of Muharram, uh, the first month of the Islamic year, and now we are in the second month of the Islamic year, the month of Safar. This, believe in viewers, brothers and sisters, um, is a great favor, a blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has granted us health and strength, has granted us life so that we are in the second month of the Islamic year, the year 1442 after the migration of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa On our program this evening, I wish to share with you three beautiful advice that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam gave to his companion Mu'adh bin Jabal radiallahu anhu. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he says to Mu'adh bin Jabal radiallahu anhu that as an individual, as a person, as a human being, as a Muslim, as a person of God, you have three trusts or three rights that we have to fulfill. As a person, we have three um, rights that we have to fulfill. What are these rights, believe in brothers and sisters? The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he uh, continues and he says that as a person, as an individual, I have to fulfill the right upon my creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the right upon the creator God Almighty secondly he continued and he says to Mu'ad bin Jabal that you as an individual as a person as a human being you have to fulfill that right that responsibility upon the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and thirdly he says to this companion that you as an individual as a person as a human being have to fulfill the rights upon yourself that you as an individual yourself has certain rights that you have to fulfill, fulfill upon you so these are three advice that uh, the Prophet sallallahu has given to this companion the right that we have to fulfill upon the creator the right that we have to fulfill upon the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then the rights that we have to fulfill upon our own selves believe in viewers brothers and sisters so how do we fulfill the right upon the creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, God Almighty. And believe in viewers, brothers and sisters, we need to first and foremost understand that as people of God, as human beings, as Muslims, as believers, we have to first and foremost fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have to have taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wherever we are. This is the right that we have to fulfill upon the Creator, that we need to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wherever we are. How is how can we fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? How do we develop the taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala subhanallah? How is it that we can able to um, uh, arrive at the taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, develop the taqwa for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? So the scholars, when they, uh, they explain this beautiful hadith, they say that we need to search for the taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How do we search for the taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala believe in viewers, brothers and sisters? Let us look to the Qur'an. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us beautifully in the Qur'an, Ya ayyuhal nas, su'abudu rabbakum alladhi khalaqakum waladhina min qablikum la'annakum taktakun. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says beautifully um, with regards to this ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, O oh people, worship your Lord, the one who created you, the one who created those before you, la'alakum taktakun, so that you may achieve the taqwa, the fearingness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is one of uh, one of the answers to this equation, how do we develop the taqwa for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Secondly, the, the ulama have mentioned 
uh, that we look for the taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through the performance of our salah. This great act of worship and ibadah, subhanAllah, that has been given to us by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala directly, directly to uh, this gift of salah has been given directly to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, subhanAllah, that the prayers bring about the taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is what God Almighty is telling us and advising us in the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, indeed, uh, prayers, your salah, it distance ones from, from transgression, from lewdness, from committing errors, from committing the uh, wrong. It, it distance oneself from committing immoral acts, subhanAllah. And so when we establish the salah and the prayer in our life, then this is a way and a means that we can able to achieve the taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the god fearness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then they continue and they say that the other way to develop the taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is through fasting, subhanAllah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us beautifully in the Quran, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, kutiba alaykum as kama kutiba ala ladheena min qablikum, la'annakum tattakun, or you will believe fasting was prescribed for you, as it was prescribed for those before you, so that you will attain the taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Therefore, believe in viewers, brothers and sisters, when we establish a tawheed in our lives, when we establish salah and also act upon the fasting, then these are the things and the avenues that will bring about the taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when we do this, uh, insha'Allah ta'ala, then whose right are we fulfilling, believe in viewers, brothers and sisters? We are fulfilling the right that is placed upon us. We are fulfilling the right that we have, the responsibility that we have, the trust that we have upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Creator. So this is the first advice on our program this evening, uh, insha'Allah ta'ala. Then the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he uh, continued to admonish Mu'adh bin Jamal, he says to his companion, the second right is the right that we have to fulfill um, upon the creation the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it therefore means that we need to interact with all the people. We need to interact with every single person. Um, we need to interact, subhanAllah, with not only the Muslims, but, but those who are not part of Islam, the non-Muslims also. Understand well that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa he did not say to Mu'adh, you know, just to interact with the Muslims, no. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa he said that we need to interact with the all of creation. So it therefore means that as a, an individual or as a husband, for example, I have certain rights that I have to fulfill upon my wife. If it is the wife, then she has certain rights that she has to fulfill upon the husband also. That um, as a father, as a parent, as a guardian, I have to fulfill certain rights upon my children. I have to fulfill certain rights upon my worker or my boss, uh, my neighbor, for example, the traveler, subhanAllah. So these are certain rights that we have to fulfill upon all the creation. We need to give every single person their true rights, their true, um, their true rights, uh, insha'Allah ta'ala. We need to give every single person that right, believe in viewers, brothers and sisters. And that right is to call every single person to Islam. If it is my neighbor, I have to call them to Islam. I have to give them a reminder, for example, if it is my Muslim brother in faith, I need to give them a reminder. I need to call them to Islam. I need to uh, uh, I need to remind them with regards to their duties towards Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, with regards to the faraid um, duties that they have to perform. Subhanallah. If it is with regards to my work colleague, my boss. If it is regards to my neighbor or the traveler, um, with regards to my wife, my children. So all of these individuals and human beings generally, we as an individual have certain rights that we have to fulfill upon them and that is to call everyone to Islam, subhanAllah. And when we do this, believe in viewers, brothers and sisters, then we are fulfilling the rights of, who we are fulfilling the rights of? We are fulfilling the rights of the creation, subhanAllah. And thirdly, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said to Mu'adh bin Jabal radiallahu anhu, that you need to fulfill as an individual, as a person, as a human being, as a Muslim, you have to fulfill certain rights upon yourself. And what are these rights, believe in viewers, brothers and sisters? Of course, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has forbidden us um, to sin. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has forbid forbidden us to commit errors, to commit wrong. But know well that a human tendency, we tend to make mistake. This is the natural way that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created each and every one of us with. We, are, we have been created weak, subhanAllah. Remember that our father, Adam alayhi salatu was salam, he had erred, he made a mistake, he committed a sin, and then he repented to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, um, 
the son of Prophet Adam alayhi salatu wasalam, he had made a mistake subhanallah and he had repented to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and so this quality is, not, is placed into the natural um, creation of man subhanallah and so each and every one of us will have the tendency to make errors and to sin so the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasalam, he says to follow up a bad deed with a good deed follow that up when we create it when we do a bad deed then follow that up with a good deed subhanallah a man came to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and says "O oh prophet of allah i have sinned what should i do so the man says to uh, the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said to the man that you need to seek repentance and go back the man went back he came back to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam another time and says "O oh prophet of allah i have sinned what should i do so the Prophet وسلم, said to the man that you need to seek forgiveness in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then go back. So the man went back, he came back another time and he says that, O Prophet of Allah, I have sinned. And the Prophet وسلم, gave him the same advice. Subhanallah. So understand well, believing viewers, brothers and sisters, that the Prophet وسلم, did not say to the man that you need to stop committing sin. Even though sin is something that is bad, it is something that is not good to do, Alhamdulillah. But we need to understand that the Prophet وسلم, said to the man that seek forgiveness in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet وسلم, did not say to the man to stop sinning. No. In reality, if we look deeper into this belief in viewers, brothers and sisters, even though sinning is something that is bad, but at the end of the day, it has a positive out of it. Why? Because when a person sins, he has now given that grand opportunity to involve in a great act of worship and ibadah and that is to seek forgiveness in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala <clears throat> that is to make tawbah to make a lot of istighfar know well that if no one was sinning if there was no sin on the face of the earth then do you think believe in viewers brothers and sisters that will have any sort of uh, istighfar will we make um, will we have any sort of power? Will we seek forgiveness in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Will there be any sort of weeping? Will there be any sort of crying? No. So therefore, believe in your brothers and sisters, when a person sin, even though it is a great uh, uh, sinful act, yes, but you need to understand that is a, there is a positive out of that, and that is that we are given the opportunity to turn back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the great act of worship and ibadah, and that is to seek forgiveness in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said to the man that you need to seek forgiveness in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I know well the scholars they advise that when a person sin, that you should always constantly seek forgiveness in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because that is a continuous battle between you and the shaitan. We sin, we seek forgiveness in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We sin again, we seek forgiveness in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And there will come a time when the shaitan, the devil, he himself will get fed up, he himself will be frustrated. So always continue to seek forgiveness in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says that follow up a good deed, follow up a bad deed with a good deed. That is the right that we as individuals have upon our own selves. That when we commit a bad deed, we need to follow that up with a good deed. So for example, a person, if you commit a sin, and the scholars they advise that you should follow that bad deed with a good deed in the same manner that you would have sinned. In the same way or the same organs that you would have used to commit that sin, use those same organs to follow that up with a, a good deed. So for example, if you look at something that is haram using your eyes, then follow that up with a good deed by looking at something that is good like for example look at the quran for example if you would have touched something that is haram and you committed a sin in that way then use the same hand to do something that is good so for example you take some um, some money out some charity and give it to a poor and needy person if for example if a, a person use his feet to go to a place of haram and you commit a sin in that way then use your feet to, do, to go to place the place of goodness like the masajid like places of knowledge and circles of knowledge if you use your mouth or your tongue to say something that is haram then use that same organ to do to say something that is good like for example say astaghfirullah astaghfirullah read some, some verses of the quran um, involved in the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So in this way, believing viewers, brothers and sisters, we follow up a bad deed with a good deed, good deed in the same manner that we would have committed that bad deed or in the same way or using those same organs that we would have committed that bad deed, subhanAllah. So this is the right 
that each and every one of us have upon our own selves. And when we fulfill this right, then we are fulfilling the rights that we have upon each and every one of us by the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that we have to fulfill the rights upon the Creator and is to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have to fulfill the rights upon the creation and that is to call people to Islam. Tell them about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, explain to them, tell them about the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Uh, advise our brothers with regards to their duties towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then thirdly the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said that we have to fulfill the rights upon our own self and that is to follow up a good deed uh, follow up a bad deed with doing something that is good insha'Allah ta'ala this is the advice that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa had given to Mu'ad bin Jabal and this is the advice that I give to you each and, each and every one of you on our program this evening may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us grant us the ability and the understanding to implement these advices in our lives by the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Living viewers, brothers and sisters, it is time now that we bring the curtains down on our program uh, this evening. Remember, you can view our program every Monday evenings at 8 30, right here on channel 6 tonight. Let's talk Islam with Imam Muhammad, bringing the light of Islam to each and every one of you. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube and like our page on Facebook by the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Until next week, Monday, may the peace, guidance, mercy of God Almighty be with each and every one of you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Aşkınla çarpar Sensiz dünya bizlere dar Selam sana ey kutlu yar With submission, faith and patience You convey the noble message Brought the light through your guidance Peace be upon you my beloved Ya Habibi Ya Muhammad Ya Nabi Salam Alayka Ya Rasul Salam Alayka Ya Habib Salam Alayka Salawatullah Alayka Ya Nabi Salam Alayka Ya Rasul Salam Alayka Ya Habib Salam يا ربي بجاه النبي أزيح الغمة يا ربي Now you can really go shopping in Lenora at VNP Supermarket 20 North Lenora Public Road. Come in and enjoy great prices on the widest range of groceries, beverages, frozen meats and vegetables, and ice cream too, even food for your pets. Get detergents and bathroom soaps and cleaners, the full range and all the brands. Pots and pans for the kitchen, cutlery and crockery for dining. And all the household items you need to make home so comfortable. The ladies will love our cosmetics collection, perfect for gifts for special occasions and just what you promised yourself. V&P Supermarket 20 North Lenora Public Road, West Coast, Demerara. Ah, hey I'm little buddy, it's me, Lolly, the one and only. Haha, <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you today about phones. You see all the different type of phones. What's this? This is not a phone, this is a remote. So, put a bit of any type of phone you got and it need to unlock. If the phone needs to unlock or anything in the phone needs to unlock, then you got to come to the unlocking genius. This one can unlock anything. Any phone, network lock, password lock, Google lock, Samsung lock, computer lock, iCloud lock. 
nothing but can do this unlocking but this one up would unlock all of the food anytime anyway all the time so any type of phone for unlock you call 6264772 or 6932204 unlocking genius so remember unlock any phone unlock anything on the phone you call the number and get your phone unlocked but the one thing we don't unlock is teeth and phone Aşkınla çarpar Sensiz dünya bizlere dar Selam sana ey kutlu yar With a mission, faith and patience You conveyed the noble message Brought the light through your guidance Peace be upon you my beloved Ya Habibi Ya Muhammad Ya Nabi Salam Alaika Ya Rasul Salam 